G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video, we will be going over how I went in round eight and reviewing the results. And then I'll be giving you my tips for round nine. Now, I've seen uh, you know one or two people not like that I go over my tips for round eight. Look, I understand some people aren't going to like the content. I get that. And if you're only here for the tips, then... Feel free to just scroll through to where the tips are. But I've been doing this this way for well over a year now. And this is the way I'm going to do it. So I apologize if you don't like the way I do this. But at the end of the day, this is how I've always done it. So let's jump in and see how we went in round eight. As you can see, seven out of eight. I was so disappointed. I was this close to nabbing a perfect round but the Titans let me down. We will go over that in a second. So to start things off, I backed my Rabbitohs to get the job done against the Panthers. I had a few people disagree with me and tell me that I've ch I went the wrong team. I disagreed with those statements because I was quite confident we'd get the job done. So very proud of the Rabbitohs for getting the win there. Shout out to Isaiah Tass for scoring the match winner. Uh, then we had the Broncos and the Eels. I took the Broncos in this one. Uh, you know, the Eels had every opportunity to win this game, but at the end of the day, I thought the Broncos were just too good. They got the job done by 10 points. A good win there for the Broncos. I took the Sharks over the Bulldogs. I thought the Bulldogs were quite brave in this game, but it was always going to be the Sharks winning this one, so another good tip. Now, this is one I was very, very concerned about. I backed the Cowboys by four at home. I thought, you know... After the last few weeks, they'd want to, you know, turn it around and get a good win. Uh, <laughs> it was close. It was close. Um, and the Knights played very, very well. But the Cowboys got the job done. I got a tip right, so we move on. The next one, I thought, you know what, I'm going to be 5 from 5 at halftime of this game because the Titans are up 26-0. They blew equal, the equal biggest lead in the NRL to lose this one to the, uh, the Dolphins. I am very disappointed about that. That ruined my perfect week. Um, we then saw Manly get a close win over the Tigers on Sunday afternoon. Got that tip right. Uh, then a couple of really close games. The Roosters beating the Dragons on, uh, well, tonight at, at the time of recording this. However, you'll see this Wednesday morning. Uh, Roosters got up over the Dragons. A very close game. Definitely could have gone either way. It's always a close game, regardless of where these two sit on the ladder. It is always a close game, these Anzac Day clashes, and it, it delivered. It was amazing. And then finally, got the tip right, but I felt bad. I thought the Warriors were very brave. They lost. They had no bench with like 13 minutes to go or something. I think they were completely depleted on the bench. Storm got the win. Credit to Storm, they... They, um, they capitalized on their chances and they got the win. All right, seven out of eight. You know, 40 out of 56. It's starting to look better. The last few weeks have been good. I think I got six the week before this. Uh, no. Did I get seven last week? I got seven last week as well. Bloody hell. Uh, the week before that, I got five. The week before that, I got five. So, you know... It's starting to look a bit better now. All right, so let's go through my tips for round nine. Starting off with Thursday night footy, we've got the Sharks against the Cowboys. Now, if we look at the game info, I'm sure 88% are tipping the Sharks. And I agree with them. I think Cronulla will get the win here over the Cowboys. Um, you know, the Cowboys got a good win last week, but I just can't see them backing that up against Cronulla. I think Nico Hines and the boys there will have enough to get it done. So I am backing Cronulla in this one. I'm backing them 1 to, th uh, one to 12. I think it will, will be uh, under 12 points. I don't think it will go over there. But yeah, I think a uh, very close game, but Cronulla get the job done. The next game, kind of a rivalry, sort of. you got the Eels against the Knights. Really keen for this game. I think it'll be a cracker. 84% fans tipping the Eels. I am going to agree with them because I think Parramatta will get the win here. But I do think it'll be a lot closer than what people expect. I reckon a try maybe to the difference. I'm going 1-12 to 12 there for the Eels. 
Next up, we've got the Broncos and Rabbitohs, and you cannot split them. A dollar ninety each um, on sports bet. I do think when confirmation comes out about the um, Payne Haas and Ezra Mam thing, I think this will shift to the Rabbitohs' favour. Um, I'm sticking with my boys at Suncorp. I know the Broncos, you know, they've had it up over us the last few years at Suncorp. But I do think we can get the job done here. So I am back in the Rabbitohs at 1 to 12 in this game. We welcome back to Vita Totola and Isaac Thompson. So huge ins for us. And I do think with Corey Oates out, Payne Haas out, and Ezra Mam out, Rabbitohs can get the job done. So I am back on my boys in that one. Next up, we've got the Raiders against the Dolphins. This game is being played at Wagga Wagga. Dolphins are not favourite on sports bet, but they are in the tipping. And I tend to agree. I'm back in the Dolphins in this one. Uh, technically going the upset here, but I do think the Dolphins have enough to beat the Raiders. I think it's a big disadvantage to the Raiders that they're taking it away from Canberra. I think the Dolphins get the job done in Wagga Wagga. I am tipping the Dolphins 1-12. to In the next one, we've got Manly against the Titans. Manly quite heavily favoured on the fan voting. Um, and they're also quite heavily favoured on the uh, the betting. So I am going to tip Manly there. I think it's at Brookvale. I'm pretty sure it's at uh, their home stadium. I could be wrong, or Four Pines. Um, but I think they get the job done there over the Titans. The Titans were great in the first half, abysmal in the second. And I just don't know how they're going to go in this next clash against Manly. So I am taking Manly in this one. I think they will win it 1-12. to I don't think it'll be a blowout, but it will be will be a fairly tight game. And it is a game that I think could go either way, to be honest. All right, next up, we've got the Panthers against the Tigers. I swear to God, if more than 5% people, uh, five are tipping the Tigers, I'm just going to end this video here. 4% are back in the Tigers in this one. You're crazy. You are crazy. I don't think this happens. And I think we see a mass, actually, we'll go 28, 26 points. We'll go 26 points. I think it will be quite a big margin. Now, I I, I don't, um, I would not be surprised if, you know, um, Apicorosau came out and had the game of his career against his old club. Uh, I do think that the Panthers will absolutely be giving it to Appy. But, um, yeah, I think the Panthers win this one and win it well. And then we've got the Warriors and the Roosters. Now, 64% tipping the Roosters, which is fair enough, um, especially because the Warriors had a lot of players go down with injury tonight. So that will hurt them a little bit. But I am tipping the Warriors in this one. I'm staying um, I'm staying on the Waz bandwagon here. I am back in the Warriors. I think they will get the job done. I mean, it'll be a very, very close game. But at Mount Smart, the Warriors turn up and turn up well for their fans. So I'm back in the Waz in this one, 1 to 12. And then finally, we've got the Dragons and the Bulldogs. This one will be a very interesting clash. Um, it's definitely a game I could go, I could see going either way. Uh, the Bulldogs' injuries do concern me a little bit. And the Dragons look pretty good against the Roosters. So I am back in the Dragons. I think it'll be a 1 to 12 margin. What have the fans got? I mean, I thought it would be a little bit closer than that especially because head-to-head -head, the Bulldogs have it over the uh, the Dragons. How are the Warriors Roosters head-to-head? -head? Wow, that is really close. Sorry, I just wanted to check that. Um, yeah, look, I definitely think the Dragons get the job done here, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Bulldogs got up. All right, let's go over my tips once more, and then we will wrap it up. Uh, Sharks over the Cowboys, 1-12. to Eels over the Knights, 1-12. to Bunnies to beat the Broncos, 1-12. Dolphins over the Raiders, 1-12. Seagulls over the Titans, 1-12. Panthers over the Tigers, 13+. plus. Warriors over the Roosters, 1-12. And Dragons over the Bulldogs, 1-12. All right, guys, let me know your tips down below. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps the growth of the channel. Thank you all so much once again. And as always, my friends, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.